We start the real content of this class, Part A: Aspects of Algorithms, A Point One. First view of algorithm. First, we want to understand algorithm, so we try to from different aspect to understand algorithm. First, from the high level, you know, overview, high level. And then later we get more and more details inside algorithms. All right. So our first topic, first view of algorithms. Yeah. I want to start with a question: Why do we need to study algorithms? Right? Yeah. What is the algorithm, and why we need to study the algorithms? First, we want to understand. You know these basic questions from the high level. Yeah. The, you know, some of you may give the answer like this. You know, for the degree purpose, although it's true, but for this class, our focus is not at that part. So our focus is here the goal: solving computing problems. Okay. So actually, we want want to focus on this part. The skills inside the degree, yeah, because your degree represents a lot of skills. Here we need to learn those skills. That's part of your degree. All right, yeah. So the goal solving computing problems. So, but how to get those skills, right? Yeah. So we want to learn knowledge and skills in this class. So knowledge. So based on the knowledge, how do you apply the knowledge? So that's the skill part. Yeah. All right. And then to be smart in solving problems. To be smart. Because there are many different ways to solve the same problem. Some way not very smart, very dumb, and some ways very smart. So we want to find those smart ways to solve computing problems. Yeah. All right. So then I want to look from this angle, a typical situation for a computer professional. You will be a computing professional. If you come to this class, then your career direction, computer professional. Okay. To be a computer professional, you supposed to be a problem solver, computing problem solver. Yeah. So you need to solve. Many real-world computing problems. All right. So here, let me describe the typical situation.、Uh, you are given a computing problem to solve. Yeah. So that's your business. Yeah. So that's the business your company get from the customers. So you need to do the job, right? Solving a computing problem. But many times the problem is not very easy. So if it's easy, then it may not worth much, right? It may not be worth much. If usually a high value problem, not easy. Yeah. So you really need to find some good solution for it. Okay. All right. So here, I like to. Look at the factors that may help you solve the problems. The factors, you know, high level. We want to look at the main factors solving computing problem. Yeah. Here,、uh, to see that first, I want to look at some real world experience. Yeah, chess game. So playing chess. Yeah. Yeah. So you know. When we play chess game, what do you need to be successful? 
What factors do you need to be successful? Right? Yeah. Try to think about it. Right? So another example, playing football game. What do you need to be successful? To win the games, you know, title, Super Bowl champion, to be a very successful team. What factors are important? Right? So think about that. Yeah. From high level, right? From high level, yeah. Strategies. The first thing we can imagine strategies. Do you need smart strategies? Playing chess, do you need a lot of good strategies? Right? In different situations, do you need some special strategies? Right? And in football games, you know, we know the strategies very important. Right? Yeah. So that's the first factor to be successful. Right? All right. Here, another example. So this is a, you know, concrete real world example, but it's a very old example. So the reason I put it here, because it is highly related to our algorithms. So this example is a AI successful story, artificial intelligence, AI successful story. Yeah. And it is a very old story. It happened as early as 1996 that early at that time so more than 20 years ago the ai was already very powerful okay so the ai program can already compete with a human champion gary kasparov so the story ibm's deep blue yeah the first time they compete, yeah. The result is four to two. Gary Kasparov, human champion, won the competition. But you can see it was already a very uh, surprising story because AI can win two games from a human champion. How good is that? Yeah, two games from a human champion yeah but the next year 1997 ai beat the human champion 3.5 versus 2.5 so you can see yeah so that's that was a big milestone big milestone at that time big story more than 20 years ago okay yeah all right so from that, next we want to see another factor. Other than strategies, we need some another important factor we want to look at. Okay, so what's that? Okay, all right. To see that, another important factor, yeah, to see that. Here I just bring you another special situation in football games. Sometimes a coach could be very mad at his players okay although that coach developed you know very good strategies but at the end still his players cannot deliver right that could happen yeah for example in this situation yeah think about the last minute winning field goal situation yeah so now two teams yeah already you know get to the last minute if one team can successfully kick that field goal then they win the game so that we see that situation many many times okay in the real world environment right but sometimes the kicker missed the field goal <laughs> So we saw so many times the kicker missed the field goal. Yeah. From that background, can you summarize an important factor we need to be successful in this situation? 
right? Yeah, it's the last minute. You need to make it, make that field goal, okay? Yeah, the winning field goal. You need to make it, just make it, okay? Yeah, just make it, kick and make it, right? Yeah, now I think you get it. Yeah, that's execution. So you have a good plan. Yeah, very smart strategy. Okay, but you still need to implement it. You still need to execute successfully. Right. So the second factor, very important, execution. Okay. Yeah. All right. So at this point. We understand from the high level, we know these two factors, very important, strategies and execution. Yeah. And we move this, you know, result to our algorithms. To be successful, to develop an algorithm, we need strategies. After we have the strategies, we also need good execution to make it happen okay all right after we get a strategies and executions then how close do we get an algorithm okay yeah we need to implement all the details all right so then that's the step-by-step -step procedure we need to develop a step-by-step -step procedure, okay? So that that part, we call the algorithm. Yeah. So we develop an algorithm for our computing problem, step-by-step -step procedure, okay? Yeah, all right. So next, we will try to understand these step-by-step -step procedures yeah, from another different angle. So, all right, so let's stop our first video, 8.1, yeah.